Hey guys, and welcome to Stream of Conscious Invasions. Um, I'm being invaded at the moment. Uh, I can't kill anything. God damn it. <laughs> um, oh shit. Uh, try that again. Okay. Uh, can't kill anything because I'm trying to get to 10 million souls from the quest for 10 million souls. Oh shit, he's here. Alright, so uh, what we're doing is um, we're just going to try and run away and get the invader by himself. Uh, kind of a self imposed challenge. The only way I can get souls um, is killing other players. Uh, okay, Demon Fist. Uh, he's got a big axe, and I got. It looks like two of the dogs made it. Oh, I tried a little turn and burn. I got I traded. All right. Uh, I don't give a shit about honor right now because uh, I've got two dogs that I'm not allowed to kill unless I just absolutely have to. I, I do occasionally have to like kill stuff. Damn it! Didn't mean to get the dog. He's still alive though. All right. All right, all right. He was very smart there. <clears throat> Not there, though. He was very smart to trade with me. Uh, the R1s, he has hyper armor, and I don't. Uh, that spell animation is a little longer than it needs to be, so I was able to get the backstab and the kill. I'm wearing the Hornet ring. Um, it's his fault I didn't have time to uh, do a ring swap, so I don't feel bad about it at all. No, I don't. Now I just need these dogs over here, so I can touch the bonfire, and let's go invade. All right. Feels good to be in somebody else's world for a change, not have to deal with all the fucking random enemies. Uh, like I was saying, occasionally I do have to kill stuff, um, little enemies and stuff. Like anytime I die in one of these invasions, I have to go get my souls. Uh, so what I'll typically do is I'll equip a ring of sacrifice, and there they are. I'll equip a ring of sacrifice, and I'll try and make just a run straight to my uh, my souls and not kill anything, but occasionally I just absolutely have to. Alright, so, let's see if we can... I think they're, yeah, they're just dropping off the cliff. Alright, so I'm gonna need to replace the hawk ring. I've started incorporating the hawk ring into this a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna just jump down here. I don't see them down here, though. I know they're down this way, I just I don't want them like setting an ambush for me down here. I wonder if I can see them over here. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, making like suicide runs to my souls with the Ring of Sacrifice. But occasionally it, it's, you know, you lose your souls in a spot that they're over here by Morn. I can drop down here and save myself some time. Uh, they're in a spot that you just, you have to kill something and occasionally shit kills itself off screen. Um, Oh, hey. What's going on, man? They're down here. Also, uh, a lot of times when you invade, I haven't had that many, thankfully, but a lot of times when you invade, you'll invade into a world where the host is dying themselves. Like, you don't have to do anything about it. And I get souls for that. Before, I wasn't including those in these, but uh, here lately I've been keeping them in. It's all coming. Alright, is that door open? No, it's not, but that's alright. That means they're locked in here with us. Where's my uh, invader buddy at? Oh shit. Oh shit. Good job. Yeah, you've got that hammer. Alright, uh, I like your armor. Alvaset and a cathedral greatsword. Morn's hammer. Oh shit, man, a dark moon. What's up, TK? Let's get him. Where'd they go? I'm expecting Morn's hammer again. Oh, I totally missed that. That's what I get for not paying attention. Alright, they're healing. I'm trying to conserve Estus. Damn, the reach on that. It's fine. Great swords need a buff. And if if they get me with some bullshit phantom range, I'm cool with it. God damn it, that slash got me. I wasn't. Alright, here comes the, the, the Dark Moon. He's also got a great sword. Oh, he's got the base cannon. Alright, he always attacks twice. What about you? Nope. He's a little smarter. Oh shit, I gotta save TK. TK, no! TK! Alright. Just try and keep my invader buddy alive. They are f really focusing on him. Oh, I ran right into that. Trying to save TK. That's cool though. That's cool. I'm gonna come over here and heal. That'll keep the host away from me at least. Host won't want to hit Morn. TK! 
God damn, they just... I, I, the only one whose attention I can get consistently is that white phantom. Everybody else is content to just beat on TK. Hill up. I got you. I got your back. Uh, that's, man, that's an important part of invading that I think a lot of people don't really pay attention to. Uh, you saw there I was blocking in, in front of my partner. You just, oh, god damn it. Whew, it's important that you buy your, your invader buddies some time to heal if you can. Let's see if I can get rid of this dark moon. Alright, one. Yeah, he's never swinging twice. Stay alive, TK. Oh, I should have gone in swinging there. Should have gone in swinging there. Alright, he's got to be low on stamina. Oh, fuck. Alright, now he's got to be low on stamina. Oh, he's probably getting it back. Alright, he can't have too much. Yep. Oh, you're shitting me. That second R1 should have hit. No, TK. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, man. Fuck. Alright, uh... Let's see. I'm trying to retreat back a little bit towards the enemies. That jump attack fucked you up. Jump attack fucked you up. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> the Phantom went to bow to the Dark Moon. It's pretty cool. Alright, um. We've got four Estus. This is. Why is he. Oh, he's, in the, he's trying to switch weapons. Yep. I was like, why does he not have a weapon? He wanted that. People see the shield and they think, oh, I'll use a weapon that gets around it, but. Um, I try not to like block all the damn time. I'm just doing this to freak him out. Alright, now he's going to the crossbow. I can't get them to come back to that pot throw. Oh fuck! I couldn't get them to come back to the pot throw in Hollow. He's just mashing that R1 button. Oh, the range. Shh! You guys be quiet. I'm hiding. I'm, a, I'm part of the fire, so that this host isn't afraid to unlock this shortcut. See? I'm hiding. There he goes. Let's get him. Want to be honorable? Okay. We'll let him buff. Get a dual term ready just in case. It's Dark Moon Blade, I ain't fucking around with that. Alright, he's got a parry shield. Uh, dual charms, even if they don't work, you can get them thinking about it. I got... That's kind of luck. That was a risky move. I'll put it that way. High risk, high reward. Let's see if I can... He is just... Oof, GG, man. Just one combo away from totally decimating my life bar. Good fight, though. That uh, high risk paid off. Hey, look, it's TK. We're in TK's world. That's the guy we invaded with earlier. What's up, TK? We'll drop him some members and, uh... We're gonna, hey! Nah, man, remember me? We invaded together, bro. Ow! Why are you kicking me, TK? We're supposed to be bros. Oh shit! TK, stop! We're cool. Damn it! Alright, we're not cool. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. Just kill me, TK. Just kill me. We're not cool anymore, though, bro. We're not cool anymore. Oh, it's TK. This ain't the shit I usually put on YouTube, but you know I got I got I got uh I got business I gotta handle up with my boy, uh, TK. He ain't my boy no more. We we you know what I mean. We used to we used to we came up in the streets riding up together. You know what I mean. And uh, you know then TK turned on me. So uh, like I said, I usually wouldn't put this kind of thing on YouTube or whatever. Uh, keep it in house. But I'm about to get souls, and you know since I'm since I'm on the quest for 10 million souls, y'all got to see how I'm getting them. And uh, you know, this is the this is this is the dirty side of 
of getting souls. You know what I mean? This is this is uh this is thug life right here. Uh TK used to be my boy and he put me on blast with the store's great sword. Uh so TK's gonna get poked, man. And I'm not sure if that was the best trade I've ever made, but I know that one worked. You know, that's what's up, TK. That's what happened, son. You know what I mean? You backstabbed me and I backstabbed you, you know. So all's fair in love and war, dude. And I loved you, TK. I loved you like a brother, dude. We invaded together, you know what I mean? We came up in these streets. And then you wanna kill me and sit down on my corpse? That's what it is, TK. That's how it is. All right. Oh, TK again. All right, now I'm starting to. <laughs> this poor guy's probably just trying to evade like I am. I don't know why he's in burn up though. I mean, like I, I just left his world like five minutes ago. I don't think there's any way he went to someone else's world, killed them, got re embered, and then came back. TK, bro. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll look. I'll just leave. No, you don't. All right, we'll do this again. I'll give you two out of three. Best two out of three. Oh, I didn't space that. That's cool. That cestus. Oof. Oof. Try not to let that cestus worry me because he doesn't seem to be parrying. Actually, he's going to use it like a weapon. Okay. Ooh, this is a close one. Cannot get hit. Cannot get hit. Baited him. Oh! Alright. Fuck. Alright, let's see. Uh, running R1? Mmm. Thought that poke would get him. Oof! Alright, uh... I'm trying to do stuff that's got range to it. Poke! Oh! GG, man. Until next time, TK. I'm sorry. Alright, guys. I've been invaded again. Sitting here with my mimic hat, letting my health go down. Uh, so our invader can find us quicker. Um, also, I can like let my health go down like 30%. And we can have like a little honor duel. What's up, man? It's pretty cool. His name is um, Irithil Outcast. And he's uh he's got the Irithil armor on and he's using Vort's hammer. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for being patient. Thank you for not kind of trying to kite me down to the enemies. And congratulations on a uh, cool character. Irithil outcast. All right, let's do it. Don't have a lot of experience fighting Vort hammers. Uh, I'm just gonna treat it like it's a great club. Ooh, for the jump attack. All right, so it can buff its uh, its um, hyper armor, its poise. Can I parry it? I don't know. It's it's big and it's two handed, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess no. Hmm. Gotcha. Use only swings. Oh fuck! I thought my back step would get me away faster, but it didn't. See if I can let him swing and then do something with some range on it. Oh, I missed. Nice. Didn't panic roll. Rolled straight out of it. Charged R2. Oh, damn. I should have done that just a little quicker, I guess. Ooh, that caught me off guard. Damn, damn. All right. GG, man. That was a good fight. Good character. Liked all of it. Good job. <laughs> Alright guys, try and finish this off on a on a lighter note than all that that heavy business y'all had to watch me do a TK. Uh let's see a caster and a great sword son bro. There was another phantom here, but apparently they died as soon as I got here. Alright, uh, I'm just going straight for the caster. I don't really give a shit about Sun Bro. Oh, I got you. I'm trying not to break line of sight with him. Mm, get back. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, because I 
I'm trying to. It's fine for situations like this. Like when he gets away from me, he's going to get his spells ready. If I can avoid that, I will. But the reason I'm trying to keep uh, him on my screen is so that I don't get fucking crystal. I was really expecting the plunge attack there. I'm not trying to get uh, crystal soul speared in the face when I'm not paying attention. I got lucky and some of that soul crystal soul mass or homing soul mass, some of it got caught up in the mobs. I'm running back here. You're alone. Does he know he's alone? I'm using that wall as cover while I heal. Oh, that could have been so much worse. If he turned around with that crystal soul spear, I would have been fucked. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna just keep harassing him. Now, you guys know I typically don't like fighting in these narrow, confined spaces, but this has this little exit right here I can use. And that guy with the great sword. I don't like fighting great swords in little, narrow, confined spaces, uh, but I do prefer fighting spells in these kind of spaces makes it easier for me this little wall right here that you see me using and this little exit right here make this the ideal place to fight these guys that gets rid of lightning blade ducking and weaving ducking and weaving that gets rid of the sun bro worth it I'll take it yeah your friend's dead alright so our plan didn't work out exactly like we wanted it to um, originally we just went in gun blazing trying to uh get rid of the host. Um, kill sorcerers first is always my typical strategy. Fuck. I'm trying to get in front of that and make it and set it off so I can roll out of its way so he can't just turn and burn on me. Oh, like that. See, those only go off when you're in front of them. So, try and get in front of them on your terms, not theirs. That's what I did the second time. It's what I failed to do the first time. That's why you do it. Because if you let them, if you let them set it you know, you don't know when they're going to turn around. He can turn around whenever the hell he wants, but if you get in front of him first, then, uh, switching to Goddard's here because I'm expecting a shit ton of rolls. <sighs> Did you find a summon sign? Or were you in your inventory? He was just standing there, so he, something was up. Nope. Look at that roll. Oh, yeah. Roll that beautiful roll footage. Learn to play. Fight me. Get a weapon out. Do something. Alright guys, that'll do it for us. See you next time.